Glenn, congratulations. It's another point on your quest to top the Premier League table. You sit there a very relieved man, I'm guessing, though. Uh, relieved, very lucky. Um, I genuinely believe that uh, quite spiritually, you know, fate, you know, somebody is looking down on me because, you know, Gary Anderson is 7-3, Michael Smith 7-2, uh, and I can get a 7 each. I'll take all applaud, it's that Glenn's never beat, da 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 da, -da but I was beat, you know, the 1-3-1 one, one came from nowhere there, Michael was missing doubles and giving me the chance, um, you know, but already Mac was like, don't be too hard on yourself, you had a higher average, you had a good doubles ratio, um, but it's 7-2 down. If you'd have said I'll get 7 each, Phil, I would have uh, snapped your hands off. From 7-2, did you almost just free roll a little bit? I wish I could free roll, but I'm, I, I was thinking damage limitation on the, on the leg difference, uh, because I'm very aware that if I can win this league on numbers, I, I could draw with MVG. I could draw with Gary, and maybe my leg difference could be different. So I wasn't free rolling. I knew that every leg could have been important. The one three one that you talked about when you said it came from nowhere was that almost the catalyst? Though did you start believing that a point was on at that point? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I, I like one three one. You know, obviously I like treble twenty, treble thirteen seems to be good for me, and obviously double sixteen. But um, you know, if, if I sat there and thought, yes, this is going to go in. I was really being hard on myself at that point, thinking an 8-2 loss is, you know, where does that lead me? What you've got the biggest challenge tomorrow night. Um, so I was I, I was having a real battle with myself up there. When Michael misses four match starts in, across the two legs, you go seven five. Do you then see him battling with himself as well and think, I'm a minute, Glenn, there is something here now? Yeah, definitely. You know, definitely I was thinking, win your darts to go seven six, and then you just never know. And I look down. I really tightened my eye at the bottom. You want to hear his first three darts is 60 or 55, but correct me if I'm wrong, he opened up with a 140. Just not what I wanted to hear at that point. And I was just desperate for him to, you know, to maybe get a, a score 60 or below, just to give me a chance. And, um, you know, I, I guess give me a chance and uh, I'll take it. How do you feel having come back to the, the bubble with those two, few days at home massively important to you? If, if you look at a car mileage against Darrell again at the end, I was on zero. Yeah, I came here, I, I had some lovely fresh air, I did everything what the PDC asked me to do and I didn't go to the Cleveland Open darts, which I was desperate to do because there was a lot of people in a concentrated area. I had some fresh air, good food, you know, just saw a little bit of my family and I come here and, I, and I'm on full. I couldn't believe how well I felt going onto the stage tonight. And it's amazing. I didn't feel so good against Daryl Gurney yet win. And on that one, I was um, at 7 2 down. I was like, I can't believe this is happening because I wanted to tell the world that I feel great, uh, I feel fine, and uh, three massive games to come now. Talking of massive games, all eyes now go to tomorrow. It's a mouth watering clash. You against MVG. The record's there that we all know about, and you seem to get under his skin on the hockey just because of the way you play him. Do you approach it the same way that you have in the other three? If he if he approaches it like Michael Smith did tonight, by me allowing me to walk back before going to the hockey, he has a real good chance. But if he's like a Gezi Price and like Michael, where you're thrown over your head, uh, you know, I do take that time getting round there. So Michael got it right tonight. Um, and if Michael Van Gerwen does that, I'm sure. But listen, Michael Van Gerwen is the biggest challenge out there. Michael Van Gerwen is the best player in the world. I'm going to relish the opportunity to play the best player in the world tomorrow night. Seeing that your mindset's changed over the last week, would you take a point right now? Or yeah. You... Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you offer me six each against Michael, de you know, definitely um, right now. But do you know, I feel I'm a little bit of a free roll now because I shouldn't have had a point today. So if I can take two points tomorrow off Michael, then that's going to be pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Three points after them two games. Um, feel good. I feel like a real big 105, 110 average before I go home on, on on Sunday morning. And let's hope I do it against the best player in the world. Yeah. That's a good man, as always. Thank you. Thank you. Glenn, if you could just put this on Josh Dodge, because Dan's got. Oh, no, no, you can do Josh. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Ignore me. Off you go, Josh. Uh, Glenn, you've had some pretty special and the results in this year's Premier League. Maybe not the highest average of the tournament, where does that look right? It's up there with the Gary Anderson game. I mean, it, was, it just mirrored it. You know, 
how do I express my feelings when you're seven two down? Frustration, angry. Um, credit to Michael who was just he looked beautiful stood behind him. He, I, I wish I could throw like it's effortless what he does. So it was a really tough time there. But you know to get a seven each, Josh there that that could be the biggest point of the of the whole campaign. Mentally, with obviously just three days left, where, where are you now in your, in your mind? In oh, of sky high. Unbelievable. I feel, um, I feel in the elite of darts. I feel, um, feel tremendous. And I'm, I feel like I've got an unbelievable opportunity once again, live on Sky, to play the best player in the world tomorrow and showcase my talents.